Hi guys, this is David Hopkins. Uh, today I want to cover something about open-end foil size of capacitors and their proper orientation. That's been covered several different ways. My oscilloscope crashed the other day, so I took a quarter-inch jack for guitar cable and opened it up. This is the sleeve, which will be negative, and then this is the tip, which will be marked in red. And I took a piece of 18 gauge and a piece of 20 gauge wire. The 20 gauge wire is going to go ahead, I marked it in black, it's going to be for my ground. And then the uh, 18 gauge is marked in red, that'd be for the hot side. So what we do is we connect the negative to the sleeve and then the red positive to the tip. So give me a moment to do so and we will proceed. I wish I had some elevator music for you, but I do not. Anyway, I'm going to plug into the jack now. And while connecting and disconnecting capacitors, you need to leave your amplifier off. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and connect what I think I know is the wrong end for the open foil. Uh, what happens is you have two conductors and a non-conductor in the middle and then one of these sides has an extra layer of insulation and that's the side you want to use for your polarity for noise reduction and it, it adds up in my opinion especially in high gain amplifiers across the board it makes a big difference so always hold the negative in your hand so if you hold the positive, it's going to make a difference. It's going to sound really noisy. Uh, also, the smaller the capacitor, the lesser the capacitance, the more noise you're going to get anyway. So we'll flip the amp on. I hope the phone doesn't compress the sound. Now I'm going to touch the capacitor. Still gonna hold it, switch sides. Get that on there. Switch sides. Turn this on again. Still holding the negative end. Here it now I'm gonna touch it. And it's much quieter this way than it was the other way. So we want to mark that somehow. I usually put a, a black ring around it, which I'll do after I mark it and turn everything off for safety reasons. We'll go ahead and switch it in real time for you again. You can hear the difference. The larger the capacitance, the more difficult it is to hear the difference. Much louder. I like to add that I've came across a few I haven't looked one up I just pulled out one that's marked from the factory this is a Sozo it's not my favorite brand by any means I don't care for the way they sound in the amps that I build but it's already pre-marked from the factory and I've come across many let's see if you get that focus there you go you can see the black band there um, sometimes I find the bands are on the wrong end I think that's just to satisfy quality control quality assurance they go, okay, yeah, the bands are on there, and that's all they need to care about. So now you see it's much quieter. And that was the previous was a 0 0.0022 microfarad. This is 0 0.022 microfarad. We'll touch it. You hear it get a little bit louder. And we'll turn it off. So when you start getting to 0.68, and up, it's a little more difficult to find. That's when you definitely need your oscilloscope. But like I said, mine took a crash and I wasn't working that high. Okay. So this one apparently is marked wrong. All right, let's do this again. Come back over here. I've got the band on this side. We turn it on. 
touch it? You can hear it. Now, by all rights, when we switch these around, when I touch the capacitor itself, the jacketing, it should get louder than what we heard. But that's not what I saw last time around. That is much quieter. So this is a perfect example of not trusting what quality assurance, quality control has done. This band is on the wrong end of the visible coating of the capacitor. It needs to be remarked if ever used and oriented properly in your circuit. All right, this is David Hopkins. If you have any questions, uh, email me at new underscore religion at live.com. David Hopkins at new underscore religion live.com. Later.